Uh, so this is Control. This is this is the. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, I have only played it just enough to adjust settings. Hopefully the settings are still there. We might have to adjust sound settings still. We'll see. Um, other settings should be fine. I'm playing this at at max. All the bells and whistles. Um, of course it's still only 1080p, but I'm using a uh, nice anti-aliasing and and such. Um. I only have a 1080p screen. I'm sorry, you guys. I only have, I only have a 1080p screen. Uh, I would like to get a 1440p screen at some point, but I don't have one right now. So, this is what we get. Uh, this is in the same world as Alan Wake, but I don't think there's much. There, there. I, I know. I, I don't know that much about the story. I don't know what happens. I know that there is a little bit of a reference to Alan Wake. Um. At some point, but I don't think it's like a big thing or anything, you know, I, I don't think it's like, you know, you have to play Alan Wake in order to get this. It's not like that. Uh, I think they call it like the was it the remedy verse. Where it's it's Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 now because it's out um, control. Um, technically, Max Payne is sort of involved, but I think they have it as like a like Max Payne is like a um, it's like the what the detective novels that that that's um Ellen Wake wrote or or like another author wrote in this world um and then Quantum Break is sort of included Quantum Break apparently has a lot of easter eggs and references but because a different company owns the IP rights it's not like officially part of the world but it kind of is but anyway enough talk But off talk. Have at you. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. Just the back rooms? I'm always glad to hear from you. Is this a back rooms game? It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. Mm-hmm, sure. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption? A cell. And is that what she's talking about? I don't know. Different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world we all feel safe in that room but sometimes sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster and the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Why are we here in the first place? What brought Anyone us here? here? Are we getting into like an allegory of the cave kind of situation here? God, it's been it's been years since I thought about that. The thing where you're like in a cave and they have like the they have like a fires going like just off like behind like a a, a ledge, 
so you can't see them. So you'll you just kind of see these these shapes on the wall. But that's like that's like your whole world. That's all you think that there is, even though all you have to do is climb up the ledge and see that it's just all fake. It's just fire. Look at these reflections. So nice. Dennis Hopper. That, like 1990s. 1989 Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Dennis Hopper. What does that say? Wall of Honor. Where is that? Is that in here? Because I don't see it. Someone's watching. Uh, alright, well, let's go. Do I have a gun? I think so. Um... Search and records. Correspondence. Prohibited items reminder. Reminder? Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an inch issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Number two pencils. Can I bring in, like, an HB? At least? Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept? Rubber ducks catch of bottles. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your superior immediately. You do not have any board countermeasures. You don't have any missions. You don't have any materials. You don't have a clearance level. You don't even work here. What are you doing here? Okay. Locker, can I, like, open it? I assume it'll, like, bring up a button if I can interact with something. Look, there's some smartphones. There's some Samsung Galaxy S5s or 6s. Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches. Oh, that's not good. Multiple building shifts. What does that mean? Head of research override. HRI protocol activated. Also, there's some smokes. In case you, in case you want to smoke. Seek shelter. Well... The door opening by itself is a little bit creepy, I'm going to be honest. I think it's just an automatic door, maybe. Or it's a ghost. I don't know. I don't know what kind of game this is. Are there ghosts? Who knows? We'll find out. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Silent Hill? This is the, uh, oh yeah, the pneumatic tubes. Do, do they even use pneumatic tubes anymore in buildings? For, like, messages? I wouldn't think so, but... You never know. If I hold the, the button, is it going to take me right there? I'll try that next time. Uh, Bureau Expenditures, Expenditure Summary, Executive Sector Q2, Major, Staffing, Surveillance, Redacted, Data Center Initiative, Construction, Redacted, and Redacted, Minor, Office Equipment, Janitorial Cost, Redacted, Mold Removal, HQ Livability Cost, for Cost Breakdown Spreadsheet, see page 5, for a 5-year comparison, see page 9. Fortunately, I think I can turn off this. Damn, I grabbed that. I'm glad, <laughs> glad that I grabbed that. It's good. It's good that you grabbed that. It sure is good. I can sprint. That's good to know. The 
I'm just looking at like the lining on the bottom of this. It looks weird. I, I I expect there to be like a line going all the way across, but no, there's just kind of like the occasional like a dashed line. Was this here or something? Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Looks like uh, John Hodgman. <laughs> it took me a minute to remember his name. I was like, it's that guy from The Daily Show from like years ago. Our bureau at work. Okay. Um, someone lost a leaf. A little bit conspicuous that there's coffee and cigarettes, and someone left a briefcase. Someone left a briefcase! Oh. You don't have any gun. You don't have any gun yet. Director Zachariah Trench. What a weird, what a weird name. See, he has like a little, little pin on his, his lapel. Does, does this guy have a pin on his lapel? No, but he has like the whole thing on his on his chest. It's nice. It's a nice bathroom. It's again the doors opening by themselves. A little bit strange. A little bit weird. But you know, it's fine. It's it's it it's okay. Nothing in there though. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. She walks like she's already holding a gun. I know that you get a gun in this game. That's basically all I know. Is it some kind of, um... God, I always forget. You know, the the monsters, the monster thing, the the copy pasta, creepy pasta thing. Whose letters I constantly forget. It's kind of like that. Ah, oh, it does. Okay, it's good. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Attention all redacted. Redacted. A shark in his redacted, although secure, redacted. Permission to. Redacted. Following basic protocol. Redacted. Shoot to kill. Redacted. Good luck. A shark. A shark in his... office? In his aquarium? In his... anus? Someone's over there, but there's potentially more things to read over here, so I'm going to read this instead. Strange collection. Oh yeah, it says 8 out of 40. Um, I did play this for like maybe two minutes as I was testing the settings. And I've actually grabbed these already. I didn't read them, but I grabbed them already. I'm not. It's weird that it's um, counting them again. <laughs> because I, it, it, I remember seeing that pop up and I was only at 4 before. Uh, so yeah, whatever. We'll we'll get the achieve before we get the last four things, I suppose. Federal Bureau of Control. Hello, as you should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're ex exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department of chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. I hear him. I hear him over there. I hear him, but I, but I want... There's no, like, flashlight or anything, is there? It's just dark. I thought this was a thing I could interact with. It's not. Hello? 
Listen, I know he's there. It's fine. I'm looking around first. Oh, he kind of looks like John Hurt from uh, Captain America 2. John Hurt? William Hurt. William Hurt from Captain America 2. Hey, John Hurt's a different guy. Me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. He's Zathras. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. <laughs> I'm Zathras, the janitor. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. I've done enough night shift <laughs> okay. jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Artie the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> if there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Did he just respond to my thoughts? Did he just respond as though he could hear my thoughts? Or was she actually, like, whispering to herself? Uh, sorry, Zathras, I have to walk through here. Apologies. And you just cleaned it, but... You did tell me to go this way, so... Are we back in the same place? The music knows. The music knows that I went over to check to see if we're back in the same place. Can I go this way again? Can I, like, check these other rooms again to see if there's anything different? Anything different. Let's go. Let's just go. We'll come back. Maybe. Just <laughs> maybe. Maybe we'll come back. Don't know. The cell and the poster. There's, like... No buttons on I was this thing. 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? It's just, just her. She's the only person in this game. A lot of people worked on it, but only, uh, only Courtney in the game. SCP. SCP Foundation, right? Is it Foundation? SCPs is what I'm thinking of. God, I, 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 you know, my brain sometimes is not great. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Do I? 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Um... Can I... Can I turn this off? Is that okay? It feels like a little distracting. I kind of want it to be turned off. Like, if I want to re be reminded of what my mission is, I'll, I'll look at it. It's a little bit distracting. I don't know. Feels feels like it shouldn't doesn't necessarily need to be there. Hmm. 
Um, hot and spicy candy. Who, who likes that? I don't like that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get some pretzels. I think some pretzels would be good. Can I? No, can't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> can't. Can't get the pretzels. Q ticket. Q dispenser. Uh, reminder, redrafting, or reminder, res responding to drafting any public-facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE. -E. Please adhere to the following guidelines. Word phrases to use in the service of his or her country. Regret, proud pride will be remembered. <laughs> Words to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. We're not Canadian here. You can't say sorry. Can't say sorry. Sorry about it. Sorry. I suppose I want to try to use this. Oh, I don't have a clearance level, of course. It's very dark in some of these rooms. weird but okay that might have just i can't tell if that's like a, a intended thing that happened or if that was just a physics glitch barbara i am not to be disturbed barbara i'm not to be disturbed cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week i can't trust them barbara not a single one rubbing kisses Same, same picture. I want pictures, Barbara. Pictures of Spider-Man. Cancel all my appointments, Barbara. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. G&G &G is possibly behind this door right now. G&G, &G, is this you? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Did this just now happen? You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? Hold on, is there anything else going on? Also, whenever I look out that way, the screen gets all weird. I don't know if you guys see that. I don't think this guy's going to be in control, too. <laughs> then again, the kind of games that these are. He could. He could be. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where uh. am I? Okay. Oh, 
Bubble gum Polaroid, all none of the above. The board seems odd. Service weapon, it has many forms. Melee? Mm. Smash Brothers! Melee! Oh. My god, I'm one of these. Health, maybe? Is there blue to match my health bar? The same gun. Choose to be chosen. I got the. Chief. Playing this with a controller, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I am playing on PC, but I am also playing with a controller because okay. it seemed now I have appropriate to... enough. This says you can fire it, but like I feel like I don't necessarily want to fire it without. I get headshots. Yeah, I don't think headshots are working. Regenerates ammo. Okay, so I have an infinite ammo gun. That's nice. That's good. I can... I mean, it's a big hit. It's a big hit, the melee. Definitely not a thing. Alright, so I can just... It looks like it's like a little bit, um... Five thirty-five. Uh, just I just want it a little bit lower. I have a gun. Uh, that ghosty guy have a ghosty gun. Who else wants some? Health elements. Collect health elements for stories. Oh, it is health. It is my health. Good, uh, good color coding there. Good color coding there. You know what else I want to do? Honestly. Um, where could it be? Oh, I have aim assist. It's fine. I don't mind aim assist for uh, for controller. That's perfectly fine. Gamepad sprint mode. Let's put it on hold. Uh, but what I really wanted was... I don't want to turn off the crosshair. I kind of just wanted to turn off the, um... The dot. And only have crosshair when I'm, like, actually using it, you know? But it's fine. Eh, it's fine. This'll, this'll be fine. I don't mind. Can go up here. Is there any reason why we want to go up here? Negative. Nice. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty is director. Kid duty. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. 
Happy to be here. Happy to be aboard. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Who is that? On the right, I mean, obviously the guy on the left is uh this man. Zachariah Trench. We have a map. Is the map gonna move though? I feel like the map is gonna move. This looks like it could open up and do something. But maybe not. All right, that's fine. That's that's all fine. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Oh, no. Get the fuck away! One second. Hold on. Thank you. I just, I just stood there. He, he shot at me. Uh, it didn't hit, I don't think. It went right by my head. But he was, he was, he was polite. I asked him for a second. He gave me a second. I still can't open this. I still don't have clearance. Even though apparently I am the head. I'm the, I'm the chairman. I'm the chairman of the board right now. There I am. Jesse Faden. Pictures are different. Oldest house discovered August 4th, 1964. Oldest house. What does that mean? This picture is still the same. This is new. Secure line of communication. Guide us. I see that guy over there. All right, I will. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. I'll go over there. In a sec, it's over here. Nothing. Nothing's over here. Someone spilled their coffee. Oh God. Where's Zathras? Zathras, where are you at? Oh, look, it's Miss Minutes. There's a timely reference for you. God, for a second, I thought this was... For a second, I thought that this game... I re forgot that this game had reflections, and I thought this is someone, like, running at me. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to, having, like, real-time reflections in games. It's going to take getting used to. next to me. Jesus. Some of this. Are all of these guys going to come to life? Should I like ooh, try to preemptively shoot them? Ow! 
Can I like, I can. My weapon armor damage. Low down. Damage against enemy armor plus thirty nine percent. That's a that's a I mean that's pretty big that's pretty big uh increase. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, executive meeting minutes. Uh, agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Alternate world events. Uh, update on mold, eradic mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Sorry, what was that? I have new multimedia? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. This is what we saw before, but we get to see the whole thing. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. OOP, object of power. Ingrained Oop. in the Bureau's DNA, a Oop. key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. That's what the gun is made out of? Weird. Uh, case file, surface weapon. Uh, service of an OOP-1, K-E, whatever K-E means. Um, acquisition date. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the right, on the right side. Uh, acquisition date, uh, in 1964. Is that, um, August 4th, 1964? No unique procedures required for containment. Uh, the object's form is variable when bound. The object allows para-utilitarians, para-utilitarians, that's a word, to uh, declass or uh, 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 redacted. This object must be, uh, must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. Terminated. The uh, process is dictated by the redacted, though their criteria is unknown. I think we can actually fill some of these in ourselves right, right this moment. Uh, I'm not sure about the first one, because I mean, there's not that's not enough space to say shoot the bad guys. Uh, this uh, this object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of chairman of the board. I think is is what that is, because that seems to be what I am now. Uh, the object will determine whether I'm not sure about that one. I don't know what that one is. Uh, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the board. I think. Well, that's a little long for just one word. Though their criteria is unknown. Maybe board members. Um, background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house. The oldest house. In the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis. Why is that redacted? I feel like the, the, the sentence is just the popular hypothesis is that it takes many forms. It has taken many forms throughout history. Um, and then that's a bunch of redacted. Uh, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Brunastra, all weapons that something something of their wielders. Um, I assume that's something like checks the worthiness of their wielders because that's what Mjolnir. You know, only only someone with the might of of Thor can wield Mjolnir. Only someone who is the king of England can wield Excalibur, etc. Uh, I'm not sure what Varnastra is. Not not uh, schooled in those in those particular 
miss. Uh, assuming it is. Uh, if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this might be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redact it. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. Might be the one that we just saw. Search. His guard. Field research on his entity. I'm glad that they, like, have this in here. I'm, I I like reading the lore. Some Some games... It feels like I can't read the lore. It feels like they, they push me. Uh, or they don't really tell me. And to be fair, this game didn't really tell me that I had this stuff, but I mean, it kind of did. Uh, his corrupt security guard. The Bureau has ha has many internal security personnel. The Hiss, the Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of a dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Well, now we can go through 39% of that, I think. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Do the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, although it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for a full report. Also, compiled by Emily Pope, whoever that is, by order of Director Jesse Faden. We're, we're, we're the board, we're the chairman of the board, we're the director now. And there's Director Trench. He looks familiar, like, like the, the actor that they have playing this guy looks familiar to me. Nice, no, obviously he's not William Hurt. Reminds me of him, though. Enough lore reading. Enough reading the lore. Also, there's there's me, director me again. Oops, sorry, sorry, chairs, sorry. I don't like that this guy is just kind of floating here. They look like they're hanged, but they're not. They're just they're just floating in air. It's weird. Oh, someone's doing messages. Also, more of this cowboys fording the river. I feel like there was something else. I see that. I see that over there. I feel like there was something else that was here that, like, dropped, and I don't know what it is. Did I miss something? Maybe not. I don't mean that, that I just got. Like there was like another lower bit over here somewhere, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Did I... I checked this already, right? Oh no, here it is. Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Okay. Three. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. Okay. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Thank you for bringing this to my attention. What am I hearing? I think we can go. I feel like this game more than, not more than, uh, as much as any other game, um, I really want to look around and get, like, everything. Uh, I do see this. I have a feeling this is going to progress. So how about instead of doing that, go this way instead. It sure is. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That 
babble's contagious. Hold on. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, I then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem <laughs> redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. The Voight Comp test. It's just the, uh... Reminder, this if you experience an unanticipated building shift... Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen this. It burrows we've in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Urban Legends. Ex examination of paranatural topics. Urban Legends. Urban Legends are believed to be or to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban Legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. Re we recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted, and popularized by our media. We have additionally pr pr proven that Urban Legends can even be artificially Redacted in popular culture we're using Redacted, our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on Redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human. <laughs> human flesh? Hair! You know what? Consumes human hair. Let's go with that. Through two punctures. On the redacted, these details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting for to happen. I'm recalling... Wasn't there like a show... Wasn't there like a, a, um, like a supernatural show on Alan Wake that we would see every once in a while? On the TVs? Is that part of this? Is that involved? I don't remember the name of it. It's been too long since I played Alan Wake. Problem with Alan Wake is that a lot of that stuff is very, um... Like, you can't... You couldn't tell if it was real or just in his mind. Sure, let's leave this on. Brown out the humming a little bit. I don't like these guys hanging around. I feel like they're gonna they're all gonna drop. I can't um I can't go this way. I mean I could maybe if I jumped. I don't necessarily want to jump down there though. Maybe I'll have to go back. Maybe we'll just go back for now. Anything over here? Uh, yes. There is. Dinner reservations. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Uh, Ambre. Uh, wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Is she, though? Don't let mold hitch a ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. <laughs> Can't read all of what that... Uh, particular poster said, but I found it amusing anyway. I guess this is it. I guess we're here.
one person is in here. A single person is in here. I have a feeling this guy might be a bit of an asshole. Although it does say occupancy for... So oh, I see. Here's the other... The other beds. Uh... Marshall. For, for Marshall's eyes only, Marshall. We checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dry before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're on route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, love and kisses. Special Agent Keenum. To H. Marshall. So it's not like, I'm a marshal. It's it's like a guy who's actually named Marshall. He could be a marshal, though. Could be Marshall, Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall! Undefined reading. I don't have clearance. Oh, we can see, uh... Interesting. It, it, like, writes out what we've done so far. Interesting, interesting. Let's... Let's go. Maybe, I guess... The only way to go at the moment is here and maybe down there, so let's go. That guy is going to come to life. That guy is also going to come to life. I don't necessarily want to shoot them right off, though, because I don't know if it's like a case of... You know, I don't know if it's like a case of we can maybe help them. Or not. Nicer now. We did it. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you with us? Kinda. With what do I do? I can fast travel. Outfits. Family have one outfit. Alright. Yeah, I'll get to you in a minute. Let me look around and see if there's any lore. <laughs> Just doing that was a bit of lore. Yeah. There's more. There's a thing I can get in there, though. All right, let's just go ahead. And... Is it safe to come out? I, I don't know if I'd say that, but. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. Ah. My I've turn. read your work. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. <laughs> I should have lied. Oh shit! You're I'm the new director. The director. Yeah, I am. Hold on, we're coming out. Hi, nice vests. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss. That works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that? 
My name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Uh -huh. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. I it's wanted to, to say that. But like, yep, that'll to happen. Cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Wait, you did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is the, the, board. the board. The board let me in. Unbelievable. It's. I can't even. Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed. See, that's that's why you want to start shooting them. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with so, me? So... Ah, we did it okay. before. Push the hiss out. Can I... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that it opened up again. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, examination of paranormal topics. Control points. Control points are locations that the bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. The oldest house. What a weird name. Uh, when the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the redacted arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted. Detection of an unobstructed ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or redacted, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that the control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, the technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be... I assume this just refuse to be stabilized. They just don't get stabilized. Anything else in here before I go? Alright. Alright. Let's try it. I got my loot. <sighs> Ma'am? <laughs> Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a no. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, it's like going here. somewhere. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Yeah, okay. Maybe I kind of regret letting you call me Jesse. Maybe you just call me Miss Faden instead. Or Director Faden. That'd be fine too.
That's fine. We'll go talk to her in a minute. Uh, let me just go ahead and give this an actual good looking around for loots. Clearance level 3. I don't have clearance level at all right now as far as I know, which is kind of weird considering I'm the friggin' director. But, you know. It happens. Look at these nice, look at these nice ass reflections. Look at this. Also, it's very ex ex extremely clear glass. Clear and clean. Alright, I don't think there's anything else going on here. So let's go. There's like stuff up there, but let's just go talk to her for now. Let's let's get some of this story going, and then we'll start looking around. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director Jesse. Director Jesse would work too. I don't mind that. I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the bureau was involved in an incident. In my hometown, ordinary. Seventeen ordinary. years ago. The bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been yes, that sounds like us. For a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at ground zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or assisted. John Hodgman. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. Yeah, well, he's dead. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. All right. So where is that where telephone? Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. Good. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. Sure. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. 